Stephen and his wife Evelyn, or Evie, as everyone calls her, have been married nearly 19 years. They have three children, 17-year-old Madeline, 14-year-old Peter, and 10-year-old John. You never get confused. No, I don't really like the other guy very much. You don't like the other guy? No, I brought him home by accident once. <laughs> you did? And well, I happened? work on the way home. I work in the car. Yes. You know, I, I read my scripts. I get driven to work, and I, and I read my scripts going and coming, and often I'm improvising as the character in the back seat. And I walked into the house very early on in character, and you knew immediately. You can tell. You can already tell. You yeah, knew, I can, you I knew can immediately tell. who walked in the house. I was very proud house, of myself for and knowing. You, said, you totally got it. You yeah. said in certain terms. He's not invited in. He's not invited in <laughs> no, this house. Go he out, doesn't come in this house. Get out of my house and come back in as my husband. I'm like, right. Not the boss here. Sorry about that. Yes, right. so not the boss. So not the boss. So not the boss here. Yeah. <laughs> so what was it about him that you said, I can say I do for the rest of my life? God, that's so hard, right? I mean, it was, how? Oh. I was an improviser at the time. Yes. Well, but it was so many things. You know, is how kind and generous he is, how smart he is, how. He wasn't making a lot of money. No. No, that was a little scary. <laughs> yeah, really, well, frankly, <laughs> frankly, really, he was making like no money. No, I know, but he, he, he's good. And I kind of, I watched him perform and yeah. uh, Second City is different. He was on stage all the time, so he was working all the time. And um, I don't know, I, I rolled you the dice. Me, I rolled the was, dice. You rolled I the dice. I not believe it. Is he a romantic? Oh, very, yeah, he is. He is a romantic. He is. He is. I don't know about that other guy, the character. He is. What's the most romantic thing he's ever done that you can share? Oh, all right. Well, this may not be the most romantic thing he's ever done, but this is something I can share. Yeah. Okay, I'll take <laughs> so, that. So, when we were first dating, I lived in New York and he lived in yes. Chicago. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm going to say? I think so. <laughs> so, um, I lived at the time in a ground floor apartment. Yeah. And so Stephen was coming to visit me. At the time, you were, he was understudying Steve Carell. Yeah. And in the show that he was understudying at Second City, he had to play the, the uh, baritone, the baritone horn. horn. I had to play a brass instrument. And, and I don't play it, but I've never played a brass instrument so in my life So he told me this, this is my story. So he had told me this <laughs> over the phone. Yes. Over the phone, he said, I have to learn how to play this instrument. Yeah. And I kind of forgot about it. So I'm sitting there thinking it's I about. I had six days to learn it. OK, go ahead. I'm thinking it's about time. He should be coming. I wonder where he is. And all of a sudden, out the window, boom, boom, boom. He's serenading me with this instrument. He's so silly, you know. You have to love the I was silly. playing it on the airplane. It yeah. was really upsetting, the stewardess. I bet he makes you laugh at times even when you don't want to laugh. Yes, yeah. very true. Oh, yeah. my God. I love that. What? Not now. Not, no. Not no. now. No, there are times. Not appropriate. Well, you know, there are just times when you need a good cry. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I always say, I'd hate to make you feel better. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. If what I'm doing right now is lightening your mood, that's on me. Okay. I'm so sorry. So hate to do that. Please, I will stop do momentarily. You, let me ask you this. Do you think you'll ever get bored of him, the other guy? I suppose it's possible. I mean, what, bored or not, I'll stop doing him at some point. Okay, when will you know? When I just don't, when I don't, when I, when I don't want to get to work, you know, but, but I am already, you know, thinking right now about, oh, I'd like to talk about that or I'd like to uh -huh. talk about that, you know, in the coming week. And, and if when I'm away from the show, I can't wait to have that first conversation, that first morning back, the pitch meeting. When yeah, I, yeah, when yeah. I don't want to do that, then I should stop. When it's a chore.